Midway Games Incorporated was a Chicago-based game company best known as arcade and video game developers from the 80s to the 2000s. After their start in the 1950s manufacturing amusement park games, they moved on to the emerging video format creating iconic franchises such as Mortal Kombat, many of which are still popular today. While playing in the early 2000s, my introduction to these arcade classics were through compilation titles such as Namco Museum or Atari Classics on the GBA. This was because, at the time, true arcades were beginning to vanish, and these titles became harder and harder to find out in the wild. The one game compilation, though, I may have spent the most time with was Midway Arcade Origins on the Xbox 360. There are so many great classic games on this disc that I plan to cover, but I thought it would be great to start with one of my absolute favorite arcade titles, Root Beer Tapper. Originally known simply as Tapper, this game began as an arcade unit designed for bars in the early 80s. The premise of this game is that you play as a bartender who needs to pour drinks and send them off to customers within a structured time limit. It was originally sponsored by Anheuser-Busch, with a large Budweiser logo on each screen and on the arcade cabinet. The Tapper arcade unit even used real Budweiser taps for a short time as the controllers to pour beverages and a joystick in the center to move the bartender. These taps were eventually swapped out for plastic replicas, but they still present a very unique arcade control setup for the time. Nowadays, each game that is made needs to function on a standard controller, but back then, the arcade cabinet makers could use whatever they thought would be best, let their imagination run wild, whether it was trackballs, joysticks, or all buttons. The tapper cabinet even featured places to hold drinks on each side and a brass bar along the bottom to set one foot on, similar to an actual bar. A very unique setup all around compared to every other arcade cabinet of the time. After the success of the original tapper in bars, Midway wanted to bring the game to a younger audience by rebranding it and releasing it two years later as Root Beer Tapper in 1984. This is the title that can be found in the Midway compilations released in later years. The game sports a bartender, similar looking to Mario as the main character, and dropped all Budweiser logos to appeal to the younger audience. It takes place in several bars, or stages, all of which have different customers related to their location. You have the standard Western Root Beer Bar, the Sports Bar or Sporting Event, with plenty of sports enthusiasts, the Punk Bar with the casual punk rockers, and then the outer space bar where you're tasked to serve beer, or root beer, to the aliens. In each stage, the player is tasked with filling the glass and sending it down the counter to the approaching customers, pushing them back or even off the screen. After the customer drinks, they will send the empty glass back down the counter towards the player. The player will lose a life if one of three things happens. A full glass of root beer slides off the counter and is broken, a customer reaches the end of the counter and throws the root beer bartender out of the screen, or if an empty glass falls off the counter on its way back. These rounds turn into a hectic mess with customers and root beer flying down the various counters in multiple directions sometimes. The game controls are extremely responsive and fun to play. The joystick moves the player and the tap control, or in our case the A button, will pour root beer in one press and slide it down the counter with the second press. All four counters are different lengths and will require some level of strategy as to how to dispatch all of the parched patrons. This is a hectic experience as customers will keep approaching relentlessly and you are the sole bartender on duty. One trick is to clear out the shorter counters first then focus on the longer ones. The problem is that even when a customer's thirst is quenched, they still come back for more unless they are pushed off the screen, causing you to go back to the previous counter and help them again. Luckily, some customers will leave a tip, which will trigger a small dance number at the start, distracting some customers from approaching for a brief moment. This can provide you that extra second to beat the round and will also score you more points, but it is often risky as they leave the tip oftentimes far down the counter. This is truly a high energy arcade game and the only way to progress to the next level is to knock all the customers off the stage, triggering a fun little animation. Speaking of animation, another thing that this game is loaded with is charm. 
The little minigame in between levels is a brief pause from the chaos of each stage, providing a fun way to earn extra points. Another charming element is that short animation or dance that the bartender plays at the end of each stage, or when you lose a stage. The bartender is either proud of his work, or has a look of dread on his face when he breaks yet another glass. This is Nintendo levels of charm in a video game, and I have always loved it for that. I've always appreciated when the root beer tapper drinks a glass himself, or when he tosses the beer glass up, only to land on his head. This game is memorable through and through. The simple music and fun snappy controls flow well together and makes Root Beer Tapper fun to revisit and challenging to try to beat your height score. This is a classic arcade game you may never see in the cabinet again. Although, I'm still holding out hope that Arcade 1UP will release another Midway cabinet for Root Beer Tapper one day. Another bit of trivia about this game is that Root Beer Tapper actually appeared in Wreck-It Ralph. There was a scene when Ralph went to get advice from him at the bar and he actually had to break away off screen to deal some root beer to some customers. So fitting. If given the chance, check out Root Beer Tapper on one of the Midway Arcade collections. I promise you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Have you ever played the original cabinet for Root Beer Tapper? Or what's your favorite Midway Arcade game? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in next Sunday's Game Spotlight. Thank you.